Welcome back. Okay, um, let's have a quick look at this. I'm just going to drag it up so it's separate. So we've got the window there, we've got the window there, we've got the window there, we've got no window there, no window at the back. Super. Which kind of fulfills my expectations for this building of exactly what kind of building it is. It's an external building, okay, with the stairwell and lift system being here on this side. So, what I need to do is make a mirror of it. But before I do, let's finish doing any little parts to this that we're going to need to make. We're going to need to do to make it look nice. Now, this plastic box here with a simple fan in it. So I'm just going to make a cylinder, drag it out from the middle like this, and then out like that. Just give it one height segment. We don't need to do a lot with it. Convert to editable polygon and then back. Okay. We'll group this once we're done and then once we've copied it and cloned it and stuff, we'll unduplicate it, yeah. We're gonna need to add some drainage systems to this and various other bits and bobs too. Before we do though, let's work out our blinds on the inside of here. So what I'm gonna do is just make a plane. Now you'll notice it's still not let me draw the plane across this way, so I'll have to do it this way instead. A strange system this is. So, bring it like that. It's probably because I built this from a plane in the first place. And then build this to 90 degrees, and this will allow us to basically stick whatever we want behind the window. Like that. Same again over here, like that. I'm going to turn it 90 degrees, so just shift, turn, like so. And then I'm going to bring it across. Oops, should have not held shift when I did that, but never mind. There we go. So these now have some depth. Okay, you won't see it because we don't really have any textures applied, but they do have depth. Let's just move this one along a bit. There. Just make sure nothing's intersecting, because it shouldn't be. Right, now we need to put a bit of floor down in between each of these, once we have uh, worked out exactly where each piece is going to go to. So, what I want here is just to delete this polygon here, and I'm going to pull out these polygons once I've uh, Got rid of these two verts here. There's obviously two verts here that I don't need. Backspace. Intriguingly, when I pull away those, I seem to lose this edge here. Let's see if I can just select it. Nope, so I'm just going to cut from here across to here. Yeah, that looks better. So I want this one and this one. And it looks like we've got an extra edge there, so if I just mark E grab there and just do a quick weld, that gets rid of that. Or does it? No, it doesn't. Let's give it to these. Hate messy models. Right. Now I can select this one and this one. And I'm going to extrude it until my bounding box shifts. One of the many uses for the 3DS Max bounding box. Bring that to there and then just start moving. There it is, you see the bounding box just moving there. There we go, there to there. Now I've already taken out this polygon here. And if I just do a quick target world over here, Good thing is that at the moment this is quite low res, so if you want to throw it to your client inside a game engine like UDK or something like that, you know you can, as long as you don't crank it up to like 3 million polygons. It's perfectly pop perfectly possible now. Bridge, done. There we go. So that gives us that, which is our shape for the top compared to the bottom. Um, we don't really need that for this part here, okay? We only need it because, well, basically the dear old clients down here are going to be standing on it. Um, we do want to uh, make it look like it's got some sort of toughening and strengthening with steel, so 
Let's get our steel rebar ideas here. So I'm just going to chamfer this wide. There we go. And then if I just select here and here, here and here, and I'm just going to obviously just uh, do a quick connect there and bring them up like that. Okay, and what I can do here is just get rid of this part and this part, like so. Hang on a second before I do. You flipping thing. Why did you not work? Go back. Oh, I know why. Okay, we'll just do them both at the same time. I'm just going to approximate its height. Right, now I'm going to grab that one and this one, like I mentioned a moment ago. Grab here and here. And just extrude them out. Just as long as I need, which is about there. And then I'm going to go to a target weld. Now I can't target well because there's a big bit on the inside of here, so just chomp that away first. Now I can target weld. Thank heavens. One, two. Three. Four. There we go. Like so. Bring it back. Okay, now I would like to take these polygons here and bring them down to the level of this piece of floor here. So, just click Grow and then just deselect these parts. And then I can just shift and bring that down to about there. Like so. Clone it to an element. Okay, reason being that I can then use this to kind of chart out exactly how high I'm going to have my rails. So I'm just bringing that down to just below the floor level. Alright, next. What I want to do is build a cylinder. Don't fully understand why it's doing it that way, but there we go. I'm going to build a cylinder out from over here, so... We can either do it using a box method, or we can do it using the cylinder method, or we can do it build using um, splines and just make the splines into an uh, editable polygon when we're finished. I think I'm probably just going to go for, because this is quite a boxy design anyway, and I'm thinking round parts on this is probably going to make it look fairly terrible. So what I'm going to do is just bring that out like this and down. Now there should be two variations of this. The first variation, obviously, is going to be for our um, first floor one, just for because the uh, person who lives here probably isn't going to be, want to be caged in when they can leave just from their front door without having to jump over their fence. But the people on the next floor up are going to want to um, have these rails here just in case, you know all the way across. And then across to there. Bring it down to here, just so it overlaps. Because we can cut it out easier than we can add it on. Next. If I go straight through the middle here like this and do some connects. Maybe eight should be enough. And then I'm going to just chamfer these a little bit. Like that. And then I can select them. If you worry about moving them, just hit Q and you'll go into select mode rather than select and move. Okay, next. 
Just going to extrude these down. Just into the floor itself, like that. That's not bad. I think I'll inset them first though, otherwise it's going to look a little bit thick. So There, and now I'll extrude it. And it'll remember the last setting I did for extrude, which is kind of helpful. Now then, there's probably some sort of rules and regulations about being careful not to, you know, kill people. So we should probably have some runners go through this. So what I'm going to do is build myself a secondary box. Now they'll want as much light on their balconies as possible, so we can't do a solid one, but we can do it this way. So I'll just bring this across to here, like so. I'm going to my top viewport, and I'm just going to bring this across. there. One of those cases where you have to kind of sit in front of your monitor and look hard. Convert to an editable polygon and then grab this vert here. There we go, like that. Okay, drop into perspective. And now we can see where this goes. And we're going to put a couple of these in. So what we'll do is we'll put one in at low height and one in at high height. Okay, it gives it a nice look. Like that. Okay, and what about a light over here? Just, you know, something for the end user, the uh, person who's going to be living here. So, again, for this we'll build a box. Just going to convert this to an editable polygon. And bring it across to here. Just embed it in the wall. And this will light up this otherwise quite dark area, depending on what the weather gets like. So I'll just bring that down to about there. And just use the scale tool on it. I'm going to bring this in as well. Quite a modern art deco light, but then again, this is a quite a boxy kind of apartment. It certainly doesn't look like a, you know, really cutting edge new apartment. Okay, that's quite nice. Still haven't got any drainage or anything coming down on the roof, but we'll work off that shortly. Also, the plumbing is going to run up here, and uh, we'll probably have some external plumbing there, just so we can see how that's getting on. Um... Okay then, now let's just check what this is going to look like. Now remember, we can have it a couple of ways. We can have it plain at the back here, or we can have a double apartment at the back here. So if I just swing this round like this, and just group it for a moment. Call it apartment one. Now if I do my mirror, I'll just copy it copy my cloned apartment to here because obviously they're going to be back to back I mean there's going to be a thick wall there but it's still going to be a wall and then grabbing these two apartments here if I do another mirror and this time change it to the y-axis okay bring that to there now we have room for any stairs access and the lifts and then, if I grab here, that is what the apartment looks like roughly when they're placed on top of each other. It probably looks slightly better now in realistic mode, so you can see it slightly better there. Okay, so that's how it's going to look. Okay, let's bring it back to its main single unit again which is kind of where we started from. Because what we're going to have to do now that we've got this far is basically do colouring in. So, I will see you in the next segment.